in the last video, we have looked at how uh, uh, a MySQL container is running inside a pod on OpenShift v3. And we also uh, access the database and we have inserted inserted a table with some rows in it. Right now, let's start working on the client application. Again, this client application is a PHP code that will access the database that we just created in the last video. And uh, this code is going to be packaged as a Docker image. And we will be doing that from outside of OpenShift, just as an example. Um, and uh, we will be using that Docker image that was created outside of OpenShift and we will deploy it, it within OpenShift. Now, uh, I am also logged on to my local workstation and uh, I have some code here. Let me show what I have. It's a very simple application. Uh, let me show you the source slash db test file. All it is doing is it will access the database by using these environment variables. And we are going to set these environment variables when the pod gets created. And I'll show you that. And it will be accessing uh, the database using the root user and your root password and uh, We'll make a connection to the database. We'll select all the rows from the users table that we created earlier and uh, We will display those rows and the output all the usernames as simple as that Now The index.php It just says welcome and then try dbtest.php extension now, I also have a Docker file using which we are going to create the Docker image. So let me show you the contents of that. I'm using the Tutum Apache PHP as the base, uh, base Docker image to start with. And all I'm doing is copying the contents of source directory, which is these two files into where www.html, as simple as that. And we'll now create a Docker image. Before we create a Docker image, let's look at what images we have. There are a bunch of images, but you won't find anything called DB test here. Okay. Now, I'll do a Docker build. I'm creating it, I'm building a Docker image and it's successfully built. Now, if I see Docker images, I should find Veer Muchandi DB test that was created 11 seconds ago. Now, at the same time, let's also look at my repository. So, if you look at my repositories, you'll there is no Veer Muchendi slash DB test. It's some other image here. So let's push this image to my repository. Now this repository is being pushed to the Docker Hub. Now let's go back and check our repositories on Docker Hub and here is uh, DB test. Now just like how we deployed the MySQL application last time, this time we will deploy the DB test application using the same Joe user. So I'm getting back to the Joe user and let's see what pods are running. So as of now, there is only MySQL pod. And we'll also see what uh, services are running. And there is a MySQL service. Now, I have a JSON again for DB test. So let's have a quick look at that. Now, this time again, it's going to be very similar to what we used last time. We are deploying a 
container called DB test container inside a pod called DB test pod with the label of DB test hyphen label, right? And the image we are using this time is that Veer Muchandi slash DB test. Now, when we are instantiating this container, we are setting some environment variables here and uh, the root password here is super secret that we are going to use and uh, the MySQL database is sample and these are what are accessed by our application inside the code. You'll also see that this container is exposing a port 80 and uh, the service is looking for DB test label and there is a route that gets created and here is the URL using which we can access the application and the route is going to use this DB test service. This is how it will get access to the container. So when we create this application using this JSON file, this time three parts will be created. One is the DB test pod, the second is the DB test service, and the third is DB test route. So let's go ahead and do that. OSC create from the file DB test. Here you go. So it created a pod, it created a service, and it created a route. Now let's have a look at what are running here. OSC get pods. Now this time we have DB test container running and it is using the image Veer Muchandi slash DB test. We are running two services again, the MySQL service and the DB test service and as as we saw in the code, the, deep, the MySQL service will be used by that dbtest.php in the application. So it's going to connect to this IP address and this port number with the root username and password of SuperSecret, right? Now, let's look at what routes are running. And that is a route called dbtest.demov3.osacloud.com. This is what is running. Now, let's access this application now using this URL. Yep, so this is the default index.php page and it says try dbtest.php extension. So I'm going to add that extension Now it displays the two users that we added to the database. So to summarize what we have done so far, we created an application in two parts. One is a pod that runs a MySQL database. We used uh, a Docker image that was available for, to in My, uh, for MySQL and we added some rows to that database. And then we created a separate pod where a PHP application that accesses this MySQL database runs. And uh, we had some code there that can access these rows and display. And even this PHP application, we built it outside of OpenShift. We uh, pushed it into Docker Hub as a Docker image and we used, we used that Docker image to deploy onto OpenShift and this OpenShift version 3 environment that runs Docker images is making use of uh, Kubernetes to orchestrate. That's the one that pulled it from Docker Hub and ran it. I hope you enjoyed this OpenShift version 3 demo. Thanks for watching.